Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at this new car. It is a diagnostic tool for cars. The model number is Mucar 892BT. So it's going to come in a box like this. The only thing I have done is remove the void sticker. So basically, once that's removed, it cannot be resold. So we're going to open it up. It has the two tabs here. Then it will open. And we're going to get our first look at it together. So it's going to come in a very nice clamshell case which also says new car. It has kind of a uh, vinyl feel to it, and it has a nice little handle to carry it. So when we open it, we're gonna get our first look at the tool. You're going to see there is a cable, a cat cable, like you would use for your internet. There is quick start guide. There is a packing checklist. So this should come with the tool, a network cable, uh, F chassis, a three-in-one charger, and the packing list, and then also a VCI, USB type cable, and a quick guide. So we'll just make sure we have all of our parts in here. Has a nice little separator here of foam that keeps your tool out. Now, the tool itself is very nice. If you take a look at this, it has the diagnostic tool that it was talking about on the back here. So this is here, it attaches, it is magnetic like that a lot. That's kind of neat. So it's magnetic. You're gonna see the on off button is here. There is your uh, USB cord and there's your charge cord. So the rest of the stuff that's supposed to be in here, there is uh, crystals in here so that you don't get any kind of condensation or anything like that. Here is the charger. So this is, in case, this looks like a European charger, I believe, or overseas, but it also has the charger for other countries here. So you see you can switch chargers. You have three different kinds. I believe this is what they use in the Philippines or uh, Europe, and this is US, and then this is overseas. So you have three different types that you can use. So this was good for basically anywhere in the world, looks like as far as charger. Then you have your USB to C. So this is if you're charging with this. You don't have to use this. You can use this, plug this, anything that has a USB port. So you can use USB to C, plug it in, charge it that way. Or you have these. This is kind of cool. I've never ever seen one that has all these different uh, charge parts, ports, for different countries. That's kind of cool. And then here is also your pieces that you will use to connect to your car. And then the last piece is the one in here. And this is the one that you will actually use to, to open this. You make sure we tear it down far enough. This is the one you see that will take the cable. Cable will plug into this and this will plug into your USB area. So we're going to look at, look, give it a look over, and then we will try it out. So, hey guys, as we're looking through this, you're going to notice we have a couple of features that I didn't. You can use this piece on the back of your handheld. So you can use it as a handle, or you can set your monitor up like this. So basically, it's made for being set up like this, so you can use it. But if you need to use it as a handle, your hands are full, you can open a little bit and grab it like that. So it has a lot of cool features. That's one thing we wanted to show you before we forgot. Also, on the back of this box, you will have a QR code. You can scan that, download information. So basically, what we're going to do on our car, we have a Hyundai. We're going to turn this on. We're going to take the VCI or part, VCI, we'll plug it straight into our car port. Then we're just going to have to turn the key on. Then we will turn this on. And we're going to see if it came charged. This is the first time we've turned it on since we got it. This is what it's going to look like. This is an 8-inch screen. I've never seen a screen this big before other on the small ones that I've had before either. It's kind of neat. It's got a very clear picture as it's coming on. It's going through its startup process. It says, you new car. And then it's going to ask you what language you want. You're going to 
and then you can obtain product information, online customer service. So you can just X out of that. So you can enter your, I'll do an auto search, enter diagnostics mode. You can diagnose, you can do your OBD, which is we're going to plug in the OBD scanner here in a little bit. History, so you can go back through the issues that you've had, see if you're having repeat issues. It'll have you a report for you if you need it, and then you can get feedback. Then you go to the maintenance. You can check your air fuel ratio and reset it. You can check your ABS brakes, coverage list there. You can go through your AdBlue reset. You have adaptive front lighting system reset, so you can change your lighting. Air suspension matching, you can adjust that. You can reset your airbags. Anti-theft key matching, so you can do that as well. You can check your battery matching, make sure you have the right battery. You can check your brake pad and reset them. Your, and then you can have your clutch matching if you have a standard. You can upgrade your software there. And you can upgrade your maintenance software there. And then out here you have go in, you can change your settings. You can upgrade or change your Wi your online service. Now this is Wi-Fi is connected. You can check your user manual online. You have one, uh, a start guide that comes with it, but you also have an online user manual. You can do your OBD fault code library, so you can go and see what they mean. Coverage list of what cars are covered. You can check your tire pressure monitoring system to make sure your tires are right. Uh, this is just for Google Chrome and other gadgets. You have remote assistance, so you can get technical support and di through diagnostic tools on this machine. And then you go in here and everything we just went through on all in one thing. So we're going to go back out. We're going to start it up. There's also this one. When you click on the, four, the square here in the corner, that's your maintenance list. It brings up everything we just went through in an easier, straight up and down fashion. So we're going to go plug this in our car, turn it on, and see what we get. So when you go in to set this up, I'm covering my serial number. I don't want my serial number out. The unit will have its serial number. You can set up your email, which you see I have not done yet, but you will have to set up your Wi-Fi to use this tool. So I set up my Wi-Fi. You do that in the settings, then you'll be able to use it. So first you're going to have to find out where your tool goes. In most Hyundais, it's right here. In this Hyundai, it's actually up under it. I just took this off because it makes it easier for me to see. So I'm just going to plug the tool in diagnostics tool and you just heard it beep and there's a blue light I can see it on my hand telling you that it's connected so the next thing you're going to do our tool is still connected you still see the blue light on my hand you just have to turn this on you don't have to start your car you just have to turn it into the on position then you have to start doing everything else you do your auto search so it's scanning So it's a Hyundai. Uh, we have the 16 pin DLC. Automatically search. Software identifies possible models for you based on your car. So we know it's this one. USA area. So now we can just choose what we want to do on it. A health report, a system select, a special function, so right now it's just doing a check for us. See, no faults. This car is fairly new. We've not driven it. It doesn't have a whole lot of miles on it. So I don't expect to find any issues. But you see this basic check. It's doing a lot of checks for you. No faults found, which I'm not expecting to find any. But this this for a basic check, it's giving you a lot of information. No faults, no codes, and it's done. 17 systems found zero issues. So that's what we were expecting, but you look, everything it checked for. You checked your engine control module, a variable transmission, it checked your brakes, checked your airbag, 
checked your airbag on the passenger side, and checked your ODS, and checked your AC, and checked your uh, instrument cluster module, checked your uh, body control unit, and checked your IMMO, SMK, TPMS. It checked all these things for you, your cameras, and there is a camera on this car, on the rear. So it checked all this stuff and found no issues. But if you did find something and you fix it, you just clear your DTTS, DTCS, and you'll hit that and you can clear out the code that you had. Run the check again. If it comes up again, that means you did not fix it. If it goes away, that means you fixed it and it's ready to move on to whatever. So this here, and if I wanted, I could actually make a report where I could rescan. So I want to exit so I know everything else. So you, here you can select what system you want to do. We did all of them. When you did that first check, you did all of them when you did the health report. That did all these codes at once. This is just if you want to pick out a certain one. So you can just scan back into the original. You want to end our diagnostic session. And then you can go into diagnose, which we, if we had an error, we could use this to see what the error was. We didn't have any errors. This tool is really easy to use, really convenient. I've had this for maybe 15 minutes, and it basically runs itself. This is awesome. So, hey, guys, I went through and showed you how to use the basic functions. We didn't use the attached ones that would be using the cable because what we wanted to do was run the, sca the basic scans that you will with this one. This is what most people buy these for is the basic diagnostics. You have the other ones that you can do with the cables, but this did it really quick. What I want to point out is some really cool things. First off, we showed you that this is magnetic. I did find out when I accidentally tried to put it on, if you try to put it on backwards, it pushes it away. Right about here, you feel it repelling because the magnet is backwards. So you're, you can't put this on backwards, even by accident. It won't allow you to mess it up. Really like the feature that if your hands are full, you can pull this out, set it up like that. On the foam mat, it's the perfect size. You can set it up just like you would be using a laptop or a tablet. The screen size of 8 inches is perfect. The side pieces here, they're like a, like a soft, not, not really soft, but like a cushioned foam. To protect the unit we hooked it up to the internet very fast and when we did just the basic test it runs 17 different tests on the basic tests it has a lot a lot of features to this unit a lot of things you can check and it does them very very fast and it gives you a lot of different options to pick out what kind of car you had so you got to know exactly what kind of car you have. It's going to pick out the model for you, and it's going to tell you it's one of these. You need to know which one it is because there might be subtle differences in them. But as far as this unit goes, this has a lot of, lot of uh, features and a lot of power as far as give, different things you can do with it in a small unit. I really like this. We will give you the link to purchase this in the description. Hope that you like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring the bell. But if you're looking for a really nice unit that gives you a lot of features, it has a lot of different ways to hook it up because, I mean, I've never seen one with all these different countries' electrical things before. Plus, you can hook it up the old school way with the cat cables. This is the unit for you. It's the new car, and I would definitely recommend this.